Hello the internet! This is the uh, Library Innovation Studio. I've just this second had a great idea. I don't know if it's going to work or not, so that basically makes it science. So I've got an idea, I think I know what's going to happen, but because I haven't tried it out, I'm going to try it out and see if what I think is going to be the result. So this is going to require just a few things. We need oil. Olive oil, sunflower oil, that sort of oil will do nicely. We need some textures, we need a paintbrush, we're going to need some paper, and we're going to need one more thing, which I think I've got around here somewhere. Let's see. Uh, uh, yes. This isn't actually what it looks like. These are crayons. Now, I don't use crayons very often, so as you can imagine, because I'm grown up. And there we go, we need some crayons. All we really need, though, is the black one. Get rid of those ones. One black crayon, textures, oil, paintbrush, a tray, and some paper, which I've got around here somewhere. And we're going to try something new. Can you believe it took me the longest time to find the paper out of all these things? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make stained glass windows. So the idea is we're going to do a drawing, and we're going to put it on the window, and the light will shine through and it'll look beautiful. Now, you might have done that sort of thing a long time ago in the past using cellophane or just with drawing, but hopefully this is going to work out a bit better. So. What we do is we get our black crayon and we draw the outline. Now if this was a stained glass window, this would be where the lead is that separates all the different colours of glass. So when you draw, keep in mind that, in theory, you're supposed to have a different colour in each white space between these black lines we're doing. Make the crayon, the black crayon, nice and thick. And when you've got your outline, which I will finish off in a second because I want to show you what I'm doing here, you get your coloured pens and you colour in the white bits. So these are just regular textures. Oh, I want to do some eyes. I'm doing robot by the way, because, well, because of course I would. Now, when you colour this in, you probably don't want to leave much white. It doesn't matter if you go over the black particularly, but try and make sure you do a fairly decent colour in, because that's where it's going to look absolutely glorious, where the colour is. And the white bits are going to look see-through. Uh, that could be interesting in itself. You might want to have some see-through bits. That could be all right, but you don't want to have your colour too patchy. Still, I'm no art critic, so do your best, enjoy yourself. Now this is my first attempt. I've never done this before, so I don't know how well this is going to turn out. Hopefully it's going to be great. If it's absolutely awful, you wouldn't be watching this video because I wouldn't publish it on YouTube, so let's presume this is going to turn out fantastic. I've got a little capsule here to pour some water into. That's probably going to go easier than any other method. So you could use a little cup or something like that, or a saucer would work quite well. Now you don't need much oil, I've not got much in here, probably even got too much. So, I'm going to flip my picture over, I think would be safest. Get some oil on my brush. And, look at that. That is going super see-through. Now the reason this works is, uh... Uh, paper's full of lots of little air pockets, and the oil is filling up the air pockets. So instead of these little dry white pockets refracting light everywhere and making it look white, by filling up all the little air pockets with oil, you're making it transparent. You probably don't need an awful lot of oil. If you can move the oil around, that's better than having something that's going to be completely soaking wet. Because you won't be very popular. <laughs> okay, and then carefully lift it up. Hey, okay, let's put it on the window and see how that looks. And moment of truth. That looks magnificent. Something for comparison. Well, hypothesis proved to be correct. You can make stained glass window using crayon, textures and oil. We hoped you enjoyed this workshop. Please like, share and subscribe so you and others can join us on the next CNRL Library Innovation Studio online workshop. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or the usual places at Innovation Stew or hashtag Innovation Stew. And check the Home Workshops page on innovationstew.com.au for extra resources. See you next time.